and we round a bend. This turn is a different trail and it heads in some parallel direction to the south, but we want this turn and you soon go by a little hollowed out area where they probably gathered bog gravel in the past. You can see the gravel. It looks like a fun place for dirt bikes. And some pretty decent meadowish stuff. Can never have too much of that. Some grand old oakish things. Lots of poison ivy. The plaintive cries of a blue jay. There's an old preformed concrete thing abandoned with a bit of staghorn sumac growing up in the middle of it. Deer love the food on staghorn sumac. It's an important part of their browse. And here we're at a significant junction of cranberry access roads. The quaint old cranberry shed pump house thing. And there you have the way back looming ahead. This is an utterly charming little facility. Three cheers for Duxbury. It would seem that the local inhabitants are inclined to agree, given by, given their avid use of the place. You got some horse action here. Wild grapes. Yes, they're a little bit gnarly at this point. And at this point, we're just going to walk along this spine of causeway between various bogs. And before you know it, we'll be at the parking lot and working to make sense of Round Pond, which is on deck. There you go, there's a nice sense of it all. Down here in Terra Incognita. So look at this sign. This is a very well set up marker for where things are. But as my friend pointed out, Look at the thickness of this sucker. It's brat proof, or about as brat proof as one could reasonably expect a thing to be. But then we haven't seen, again, this town seems to have a more contented population. So the exasperation and frustration witnessed in some of the other towns isn't quite as evident. And there's the parking lot. You can see the little cluster of cars, avid dock walk dog walkers and bird watchers and what have you. So we're wrapping up a fine little hike, a splendid little walk here in the Duxbury Bog system.